So this year, my, my last race was the World Championships. So that went uh, really quick. I think I had the first beer before I was in the shower. <laughs> it was a fast transition from uh, being very serious and then, okay, now it's off season. That was it for today. Training on. Yeah, the first thing I actually did after the race, going for MRI for my hand, and we just found out it was broken. First moment I really felt now I'm back was uh, when I was going to Mallorca. Finally felt good on the bike again. Yeah, that was like, yeah, that's it. Nice, I'm back. J'ai pas touché le vélo pendant un mois. Parce qu'entre temps aussi, j'ai fait un stage d'équivalence pour mon diplôme de kiné. Bon, juste reprendre les entraînements, donc euh, repartir en muscu, rechercher tout. Le directeur sportif qui t'appelle, qui dit bon ben t'es prête <rire> Semaine prochaine on est reparti quoi. <rire> It's a pretty interesting season for me because I've been out for a year with concussion. For me, there's the excitement of starting the season and starting with a new team. I'm really excited. We have so many either younger or newer riders coming in. I think there's so many things that we're going to learn together as a group over the next few months and the next couple of years. So, yeah, let's go. Give up too fast, even thought I walked the line to see you. Sand was faster in there. Take me back from the start. Take me back from the start. Time for today. I just need to go home. The training always gets more intense, close to, to racing. So we start here always at, at the training camp with a short, hard, uh, intensive uh, training and, and effort. That's always a sign that, that the season is coming, coming close. The team camps and training camps are super important. For me personally, as a rider, it's really where I can also measure myself against the others and see where I am. Get to learn all the new riders and also to kind of integrate them in the team. So it's important that they, they feel welcome straight away. There's a sprint stage. And maybe you don't like you maybe gonna lose like one minute. But like a mountain stage when you're not a climber. Make it long day. Starting is a time for exploration. Don't you know there's so much well seen? La sera dopo cena è proprio un momento trash. Ci fossero delle telecamere. I think the mood is really really good. Like uh, all the new riders are really strong and uh, also like really really good to work in a team with. Like we have a lot of talks at the table, dinner table. We stay even late to finish the discussion. Stefan and Jonas they, they talked a lot with me and I I just I take all the information. For sure, Stefan gave me some good advice. Advices. <laughs> the thing for us, it was pretty special, or at least for me, because uh, I totally didn't knew him. First time we met was actually three days before, because he broke his uh, derailleur somehow. Uh, don't ask me how he did it, but he did it. So uh, I had to kind of give him a spare of my bikes, and uh, we kind of fixed it. I think that's something that's really nice and enjoyable in a team. Mannschaft, we say in German. It's really just, we just work as one and that's, that's nice. What the thing? Oh, I think I'm enjoying the view here. Oh, that's very beautiful. Now I'm bound by chain. I think I'm always very nervous before the, the, the first uh, races to see uh, where I am compared to, uh, to the other riders in the peloton. One thing is the uh, numbers on, on the power meter, a different thing is, is the race feeling. It's always uh, exciting to, to do the first race, even though it's, it's normally a small race. And it's uh, yeah, exciting to come back. We've just finished training camp here in Calpe and now we have that feeling that the season is really about to get underway. It's a few days until our first races 
and then after that they just come back to back to back. You know, we've done all the preparations now, we've done all the preparations over the winter, so we just can't wait to get started. It's like the first day in school, you don't really know what to expect. You've done your homework, everything is shining, the legs is good, and you hope for the best. What else can you do? Can you forgive me? This is your future. The first race of the season, no one really knows where to stand, so it's all up here. Get together, and then we start to ride as a team. You've done your homework, and you guys are ready. And just go out and have fun. If you don't have the love for it mentally, then, well, what's the point? How can you push yourself if you don't love what you're doing? If you lose that enthusiasm and that love for cycling, then what is there? Like, what's the point? You know, we train so hard, we're so tired. You have to love what you're doing. And don't get me wrong, there's days when I don't want to go and I'm tired and I'm not motivated. You just have to think, think back to how much you wanted it when you first were trying to get that first contract. And you would have killed, you would have done anything to do that. First stage done. Oh. 